Keep it going for storyteller number 10, Mary Turvey. So my quest, <clears throat> my quest to be an only child ended in disaster at age two and a half, where through birth order, I was followed in rapid consent progression for three boys who were hell-bent on torturing their older sister, unprovoked. <laughs> One time when I was 11 or 12, I had just gotten my first bikini and I was dancing around the house, kind of preening and pruning with my semi-adult body. And as I walked into the hallway from the living room, I was pelted by these little furry objects because my brothers had aimed a house fan and had collected all the dead flies from the windowsill <laughs> and threw them at me. <laughs> when you get to be an adult, supposedly you get past that sort of thing. I was living in Washington, D.C., and one of the terrible trio had moved to Annapolis and extended an olive branch by inviting me to go windsurfing in Chesapeake Bay. I had never windsurfed and he was gonna teach me. And I have to admit that with some trepidation, I accepted his invitation. We went to Sandy Point State Park, just north of Chesapeake Bay Bridge. There's an area that's roped off for swimming and the windsurfers put in right next to that. So he gave me a few lessons, and I had the hardest time pulling up the sail on a windsurfer, because it gets all full of water my first time, and I struggled and I struggled and I couldn't do it. But he got me balanced and he helped me lift the sail, and I took off and I'm thinking, you know, this is great, my brother isn't all that bad after all, until I realized he never told me how to turn around. And there I was, struggling with this windsurfer, trying to turn around, and I think you had to get in front of it or whatever, and I just flopped the sail into the water, and it was, of course, over my head. I could swim, but I had no way of walking this windsurfer back, and so I struggled. I got, you know, kind of the point where I could drag it if I held my arm over the windsurfer board, and I tried to paddle with one hand. And I tried that for a while, and then all of a sudden, something went by me. And then something went by me again, and then something went by me again. And the first time, the first stuff that went by me started to tingle, and then the next one, and the next one, and it started to burn. And I had swum into an enormous, bloom of sea nettles, stinging jellyfish. I'm like, my brother is an asshole. <laughs> so I realized this one-handed paddling wasn't gonna work, so I kind of figured out a way to kind of stuff the windsurfer board on my back and wrapped my legs around it from behind and put my feet around that little knob joint and I tried as best I could and I made better headway. And my brother who was swimming in the roped off area saw me struggling and he thought he had to get his windsurfer back. So he decided to go under the rope and swim to get the windsurfer and let me go home. Uh, as soon as he surfaced, the lifeguards, who by the way, had done nothing to help me, started to blare their whistles because apparently it is illegal to swim in Chesapeake Bay unless you're in the roped in areas or you have a windsurfer stuck up your ass. <laughs> so as he's swimming toward me, I say, Jim, don't, don't get close. There's sea nettles everywhere. Just, I'll get there. And he said, I don't care. And my asshole brother became my hero. And so he came, he got the windsurfer, I swam to shore. And as I was coming up, this woman was on the seashore and she said, you know, the lifeguards called that park ranger over there to arrest the man that was helping you. 
I don't know what I was thinking, but this curtain of red fell down, and I thought, he rescued me, I'm going to save him. And I marched up to the park ranger, and he followed very shortly thereafter, and there was the park ranger with his arms crossed and his gun and his, his logos and his hat, and he's... <laughs> He's staring at me, and I'm saying, are you going to arrest my brother? And this small crowd starts to come up around us. Meanwhile, the welts are starting to raise from a hot pink to a deep red to that purple black that comes up when the air hits scars and things like that. And my brother and I were standing there dripping, transforming before everybody's eyes into this reptilian creature that had come up from the Black Lagoon. And, and the, <laughs> the crowd clearly had the sympathy vote for us. And so the ranger looked at me and he looked at my brother and he looked at the small crowd and he said, the showers are up by the visitor area. Just go rinse off, and the sea nettle sting will be off in an hour. So Jim and I went up. We're in the outdoor showers. As the water is cascading over our anguished bodies, we suddenly burst into hysterical laughter because these mortal enemies from childhood had united against a common enemy, the park ranger, and we faced him off. Yes, we rinsed off a lot more than sea nettle sting that day. Thank you.